name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of us will be with you all. My beloved one, today is the second day of December and the first week of Advent. I read this will be coming from Prophet Isaiah chapter 2, verse 1 to 5. A response to Psalm will come from Psalm 122, verse 1. And gospel message will come from Matthew Gospel chapter 8, verse 5 to 11. The theme of our message today is All nations shall flow to it. All nations shall flow to it. Where will all nations flow to? That's why today Prophet Isaiah prophesies about the kingdom of God and things of God. And the Bible prophesies, that's the prophecy of Isaiah, when he said, the work which Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judea and Jerusalem, what did he saw? It shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the house of the Lord, the mountain of the house of the Lord, shall be established as the highest of the mountains, and shall be raised above the hills. It should be above all. And all the nations shall flow to it. Every nation will flow to it. North, south, east, west will flow to it. That's the prophecy of what will come. And many people will shall come and say, come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. That the every nation will be thinking in that way. If you have not started thinking this way, start thinking now. It's not late. For out of Zion shall go for the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between nations, between the nations, and shall decide for many peoples, and they shall beat. I see, he will judge between nations. The word, the, the, the mountain of the Lord will be the word that came from Jerusalem will judge many nations, judge between nations. And decide for many people the word. And they shall be their source into plug shears. No more war. When they have accepted the war, they will no more fight war. They will not no more trade for war. No more nuclear war, no more ballistic missiles, no more threatening of missiles. And their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against another nation anymore. That's the promise of God to all of us, as prophesied by Isaiah. Neither shall they learn war anymore. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Yes, let us walk in the light of the Lord. But as I prophesied that every nation will flow to this. Whether you like it or not, every nation will come to it. Remember the what the degree of God the Father in Philippians 2, 9 to 11. At the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess. Every knee will bow in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. And every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. And Peter follows to say, of all the name given to men, only one name will save the name of Jesus. As of the Apostle chapter 4, verse 12. And Jesus said, I'm the only, the only way. I'm the truth and the life. No other way, no other truth, no other life. I'm the way. Any other thing is not the way. Any other thing that is not me is not true. Anything that is not my life is not life. John 14, 6. Now the prophecy of Isaiah today about the coming of the Messiah, what the whole nation would go to him. I will say this today about the prophecy of Isaiah. Look at that prophecy being fulfilled today. At that time, as Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion came forward to him, begging him and saying, Lord, my servant is lying paralyzed at home in terrible distress. That's a great war, a general of the army, Roman army, came to Jesus begging him. And he said to him, I will come and heal him. 
Jesus promised him I will come and hear him. But the centurion answered him, Lord, I am not worthy for you to come under my roof. Yes, I'm not worthy. Don't, how can you say you come to my house? No way. I'm not worthy. Look at it. It's not worthy. This is a person from another nation altogether. That's why the nation will flow to him. Seeking healing of his servant from the man who is not from his nation. Everyone will flow to him looking for life, looking for deliverance, living for the word of that will lead to life. And he began to tell Jesus why he should not come to his house. It's not worthy for him to come under his roof. But only say the word and my servant will be healed. Only say the word and my servant will be healed. Do you see the type of faith this centurion had on Christ? Say the word. You don't need to come. Just say the word. And he began to tell Jesus why he should say the word. And the servant will be healed. For I'm a man under authority with soldiers under me. And I say to one, go. And he goes. And another, come, he comes. And to my slave, do this. And he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was marveled. And said to those who followed him, truly I say to you, not even, is, even in Israel have I found such a faith, absolute faith, from another nation. And to this Jesus said, made a comment. I tell you, many will come from east and west and sit at the table with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. And you are thrown out. Do you see it? Look at a centurion who is another person from another nation altogether, coming to Jesus and saying, no, what he said, the word my servant will be well. I will tell you the level of nations flowing to him. And watch, all the nations who are not under him, they become barbarians. Yes, they turn out to be barbarians. They turn out to be racist. They turn out to be tribalistic. All nations who have not flowed to Christ, this is what you expect from them. See, with the victory election of Trump, now Trump said Jesus will come back, that the America will flow back to God. The Bible will come back to the schools. Yes. This is a country of God, no more for demons. Anything that is not accepted, that God will guide them. No more person, no other person will guide them. America the Great will come back. America will start with God, abandon God, see how, how it happened. But that, now they're going back to God. All nations will go back to him, whether you like it or not. If you fail to go to him, you remember a barbarian. You remember a nuisance. You remember terror to the people, other people. But when you flow back to him, automatically you bring joy and peace to others. No more war. No more hatred, no more racism. And now when the psalmist who understood this so well today, he said, look at what the psalmist said. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoice. So the place of joy, the place where we rejoice, find true joy, find true peace, find true brotherhood and sisterhood, is in the, the house of God. Yes, not in, not, not in cinemas. Not in zoos, not in picnics. Yes, it is in the house of the Lord that the actual joy flows. And God help us, all of us, to know that God has called on nations and we we'll have no option that every nation will flow to Him and to Him alone. We ask through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us that at this promise of God, prophesied by Isaiah, be fulfilled, that every day shall flow to him, so that we we'll have universal peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.